Last week you may remember that we put together a vegetable mix using the produce that you had put up from your garden last year and had stored in your freezer. We wanted to get that out of the freezer within a one year period. Now the vegetable mix, because it's used using frozen foods and some fresh, but a lot of frozen foods that were frozen once, thawed and refrozen, is not going to maintain quality for a year like things that are fresh will when you put them in the freezer if conditions are right. So we want to use this with, within one to three months. Now here we have three cups of the vegetable mix that I thawed. Remember to thaw vegetables in your refrigerator or in your microwave oven. If you're going to do it in the microwave, you're going to have to transfer it out of this kind of a container because this container is not microwavable, but it will melt and you'll have some of the plastic come into the food itself. So make the transfer if you need to. We drain the liquid out of that. We're going to add this vegetable mix to our pot. We're using three cups. Remember that if possible, you want to package your vegetable mix in quantities that you're going to use later on. Now to that, we're going to add two tablespoons of chopped onion and about a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, four bouillon cubes. Now, if you choose, you could use the bouillon crystals, or you could use vegetable juice if you had juice left from other meals, or you could use tomato juice if you chose to, because these vegetables are already cooked. It will depend on, on what flavor you're interested in getting. And we want to bring this to a boil. Now, with the, the bouillon cubes, you can use a low-sodium variety. Now, the interesting thing about using a mix like this, one of the reasons we do this, rather than just going to the store and buying a, a, some mixed vegetables, is that you're able to control the flavors and the, the spices that you add to this very well by having your own produce, by knowing what goes in, knowing what's fresh, making sure that the quality is good. You get a much better product than you do simply to go to the store and buy a, a can of vegetable soup, for instance. You get something that you've done yourself that, that tastes better as a result. You can also be real creative with this because you can add other things to it that you might have in your refrigerator. If you had a little uh, chicken or beef or ground beef, whatever, just go ahead and add it in. This is vegetable soup and it's free license to add whatever you happen to have to it. And I had, this then is going to come to a boil and as we wait for it to come to a boil, and when it comes to a boil, we'll add about two-thirds of a cup of macaroni to that. Now one of the things that I didn't add to the mix last week that I went ahead and added this time was chopped onion and I also added some pepper. There's a good reason why we add those at this time and not when the, the mix is going into the freezer. The reason is that neither one of those hold up their flavor in the freezer. Both of them will get very, very bitter and they'll lose some of their flavor so that we don't want to add them bef uh, before you're ready to actually prepare the food for eating. There are other vegetables that don't go into the freezer very well. Potatoes are one, so that if you're making beef stew, for instance, you may want to go ahead and make everything, uh, put, get it into the freezer, but add the potatoes when you're reheating because you'll get a much better quality product if you're able to do that. Okay, we're just about getting this to come to a boil now. We're going to go ahead and pretend that it has. We'll add our macaroni to this. And we're going to let this come back to a boil. And then we'll turn it down and let it simmer for 12 to 15 minutes, depending on how much uh, you want your macaroni cooked. Again, this is something if you chose to, you could go ahead and use leftover noodles or macaroni. You could use leftover rice. So be flexible with this kind of a recipe. We'll take a break and wait for it to come back. When the noodles have gotten as done as, as you would like, then you're ready to go ahead and serve your soup. If you remember to get it out of the refrigerator or put it out of the freezer the night before and get it into the refrigerator to thaw, you can probably have this meal on the table accompanied by a crusty loaf of bread and a nice cool salad within 20 minutes after you get home from work. For Oklahoma Gardening, this is Barbara Brown.